first problem light enters from air to diamond which has a refractive index of 2.42 calculate the speed of light in diamond if the speed of light in air is 3 into 10 to the power of 8 so this is the problem given here let us first write down what is given in the problem the refractive index is given 2.42 speed of light is given 3 into 10 to the power of 8 meters per second we need to find out the speed of light in diamond v so the formula related to these three terms is n is equals to c by v by substituting the values we get this equation by simplifying we get the solution like this 1.24 into 10 to the power of 8 meters per second now the second problem the refractive index of a glass with respect to air is 2 find the critical angle of glass air interface so let us try to write down what is given in the problem refractive index is given n is equals to 2 we need to find out the critical angle c the formula related to these two is n is equals to 1 by sin c so by substituting the values we get 2 is equals to 1 by sin c then sin c is equals to half we know that in sine values we get half when c is 30 degrees so c is equals to 30 degrees then move to the third problem here we have the third problem if the angle of incidence is 60 degrees and the angle of refraction is 30 degrees, find the refractive index of the medium. See what is given, angle of incidence given 60 degrees, angle of refraction given 30 degrees. We need to find out the refractive index N. The formula is N is equals to sin I by sin R, that is Snell's law. By substituting the values, we get this equation. We know that sin 60 is root 3 by 2 and sin 30 is half. By substituting and simplifying, we get the answer as root 3. Next one. A jar 20 centimeters long is filled with transparent liquid. When viewed from the top, its bottom appears to be 15 centimeters below. What is the refractive index of the liquid? So here the real depth is given as 20 centimeters and the apparent depth is given as 15 centimeters. We need to find out the refractive index. The formula is real depth divided by apparent depth. Substituting the values 20 by 15, we get the answer as 1.33. Next, move to the next problem. So here is another problem. Refractive index of air with respect to glass is 2 by 3. Refractive index of water with respect to air is 4 by 3. What is the refractive index of glass with respect to water? What is given first? Let us try to write down. So the refractive index of air with respect to glass is given 2 by 3. If we want to find out the refractive index of glass with respect to air we need to take the reciprocal of 2 by 3 that is 3 by 2 then refractive index of water with respect to air is given as 4 by 3 if we if we want to find out the refractive index of air with respect to water we need to take reciprocal of 4 by 3 that is we get 3 by 4 so in the question we need to find the refractive index of glass with respect to water that means just by multiplying these two we get the answer that is 9 by 8 next problem a double convex lens has two surfaces of equal radii or and refractive index n is equals to 1.5 find the focal length See, 
in this problem the refractive index is same given as r that means for one side of refractive index sorry one side of uh, radius of curvature it will be taken as positive another radius of curvature has to be taken as negative that means r1 is plus r r2 is taken as minus r the refractive index is given as 1.5 we need to find out the focal length the formula is 1 by f is equals to n minus 1 into 1 by r1 minus 1 by r2 substituting the values we get this equation 1.5 minus 1 into 1 by r minus of 1 by minus r so when minus into minus becomes plus we get this one 0 0.5 into 2 by r so we know that the value of 0 0.5 can also be written as half half into 2 by r that means 1 by r we get if 1 by f is equals to 1 by r then focal length f is equals to r next move to the next problem here in this problem the focal length of a converging lens is 20 centimeters an object is 60 centimeters from the lens where will be the image be formed and what kind of image is this so this is the question given so let us try to write down first what is given in the problem so here in the problem focal length is given 20 centimeters and object distance is given 60 centimeters to find the sign convention we need to draw the ray diagram so in the question it is given as converging lens so we have to get converging lens and this is the object the light rays are passing in this direction so this is the optic center as we have to measure the distance from optic center to the object and the light ray is passing in this direction so we have to take the object distance as negative and the focal length so from optic center to focal length we have to measure in this direction and the light ray is also passing in the same direction so focal length will be positive object to distance will be negative here we need to find out image distance and we know the lens formula that is 1 by f is equals to 1 by v minus 1 by u so we need to find out 1 by v so 1 by v is equals to 1 by f plus 1 by u by substituting the values and simplifying we get the answer as 2 by 60 we need 1 by v is equals to 1 by 30 v is equals to 30 centimeters and by this we can easily find out the nature of the image that is the image will be a real image inverted diminished image will form between focus and center of curvature hope you guys will understand these problems